The topic is quadratic equation and the subtopic is system of two equations involving two variables. This is the case number two, where the both equations are quadratic. But it's different from the case two that we have done just before. The only difference both in both of them, uh, the case number two that we have solved, where x square and y square terms are there in the equation one and equation two. And here in equation one and equation two, both are the quadratic equation, but there is a, also one term which is also given in the form of x and y. This is the only difference. When only x square and y square terms are there in both the equations, we always do the coefficient balancing. And if this type of case that is in front of you, we will do in the way I am explaining here. Like for example, if you will do the coefficient balancing, there will be no any benefit of it. So we need to apply some other technique. What is the technique that we should follow here? If you will see for x square minus 5x square plus 6y square, we can follow here the middle term breaking. We will apply the middle term breaking in the question, equation number one. Like x1, 1 should multiply by 6. 6 means 6 upon the 6, 2 3s are and 3 1 the 3. It means that 2 plus 3 is will be the middle term breaking factor. We know that when there is a plus sign, we always get the factor with the help of the addition. Like we will write it down the equation number one first. X square, X square minus 2 plus 3 into XY plus 6Y square is equal to 0. X square minus 2XY minus 3XY plus 6Y square is equal to 0. X is the common element x minus 2y with the remaining one. And minus 3 is the common element. Minus 3y is the common element. X minus 2y is the remaining one. If we have done right, the bracket will be definitely same. X minus 2y. X minus 2y into um, x minus 3y is equal to 0. Here, we follow the zero factor property. What is the zero factor property? If there are multiple terms are there and it is equal to uh, zero, we can put one by one is equal to zero. How we will do that? I will fit you. Like the first one, x minus 2y is equal to zero. And the second one, x minus 3y is equal to zero. It means that we get two linear equations from it. And when we will get these type of uh, solution? When we have quadratic equation, again I'm repeating, quadratic equation and xy term is also there. When three terms are there, we are try to apply the middle term breaking and in this way, we will get the two linear equations. And now focus on the this one, x square plus y square is equal to 45. x square plus y square is equal to 45. Now, see it very critically. Equation 1. With the help of the equation 1, we got x is equal to 2y and x is equal to 3y. Just write it down in front of it. x is equal to 2y and x is equal to 3y. We will solve the question one by one. This is first one. This is second one. Firstly, we will use the first one. Like x will be replaced by 2y and y square is equal to 45 y square is equal to 45, 2y square, it will become 4y square, y square is equal to 45, 4 plus 1 is 5y square, and y square is equal to 45 divided by 5 will become 9, means taking root on both sides, and it will become y is equal to 3 9. y is equal to plus minus 3. Now focus on it, like for example, how you got it. You got it with the help of this one. X is equal to 2y. X is equal to 2 into y plus minus 3. X is equal to plus minus 6. It means that your first solution or first coordinate solution will be plus minus 6, comma plus minus 3. 
Now focus on this one. Now the second solution. Come on, second one. The equation will remain same, but we will put x is equal to 3y. I am rewriting it. x square plus y square is equal to 45 and y x is equal to 3y. Now x will be replaced by 3y. It will become 9y square plus y square is equal to 45. Uh, it will become 10y square is equal to 45. And y square is equal to 45 upon 10. It will become 9 upon 2. And when we will apply the square root on it, like y square is equal to 9 upon 2, it will become y is equal to plus minus. will come out and root 2 will remain here. And x is equal to 3y. Then the final solution will become plus minus 9 upon root 2. It means that the combined form we can write it down. root 2, root 2, x was 9 and y was 3. This is the second solution that we got. And the first solution I will show you in the slides. Plus minus 6 and plus minus 3. I can write it down for you. Plus minus 6 and plus minus 3. It was the first solution that we have done.